all the best sections in that video are of the guys when they were really young who are now, yeah, at the top of the surfing world or near the top, you know, if it's not top competitor, it's top tube riders like Percho and and guys like Wink and Munro who are at the top in, in the competition world but also in the free surfing world just blow everyone away. Those pulse videos were, were good for guys like myself and Margot getting exposure because you know we'd never really been in videos and we sort of were young blokes trying to get a start and get out there and get our names about and um, the pulse videos are really good for that because uh, I mean now there's that was some of, some of the first videos for young blokes you know that rather than the stars you know the Ockies and Luke Star are out there and already being noticed and seen whereas we were just trying to get our edge in so they were really good for us and. And, um, yeah, it's always good when you're a grommetist to see, see a little wave in a video, you get super stoked and you run around telling your mates to go buy it and that and you watch it a thousand times, so it's good fun. Oh, it was like you'd always fast forward to your favourite section and I always wanted to watch Margot and Neil purchase section and, and um, just got me so amped. Yeah, that was my um, sort of introduction into the surfing, I guess, but because um, I hadn't really done many photos or anything, so I was kind of... To, to get on, on, on Justin's videos. That was really cool. That was like a, a big stepping stone for, for me because I got to surf with um, all the good surfers from around here like Jay Phillips and Neil Purchase and Margo and stuff like that. I remember going around there and editing and, and picking out little waves and stuff. And I was only a little grom, so I was frothing. <laughs> Everyone was pretty underground back then. There wasn't too many movies coming out of young guys. You know, at that period, it was everything was America, America and it just um, brought out this video and it just proves that um, you know, Australia's talent pool is just endless. I think it was a uh, pretty uh, pretty far ahead of its times kind of movie because I, you know, I was, when I was growing up I watched every movie and I think I think Pulse was probably, you know, definitely one of the best movies that came out for that, you know, that time then and I think, um, you know, I was pretty stoked that, you know, it had all the young boys in it, I think I was about 16 was coming out so it was pretty you know it's pretty cool when pulse came out it really sent a bit of a shockwave through um the americans because i'd go over there and none of those guys had ever heard of parker or nick or any of the crew you know dino or any of the young guys who were developing their surfing here in oz at the time they just had no idea what they were about to deal with <laughs> and Pulse has gone open a little window on it. Pulse was probably Australia's answer to, I guess, the Taylor Steel movies. That was like the first time I really saw like sections on like Margot and that, and I was so impressed by Australian standard far out. I saw it the other day, Pulse, and it still blows me away how good they were. It made them feel like they were great surfers and that's what good videos do. It was important just to showcase Australian surfing and look where it is now. So yeah, it's a good movie. I wasn't in it so I'm a bit pissed off about that but you get that on the big jobs. <laughs> Stoked to be one of the surfers in it and be part of that. It's a great feeling in my life. They're all in the WCT now so you, know, you picked a pretty good crop mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Oh, it's all coming back to me now.